The objective within this lesson is to name decimal fractions in expanded unit and word forms. Here we are asked to write 17 thousandths in standard, expanded, and unit form. 17 thousandths. How would we write that? Is this what you thought? In expanded form, looks like we have a 1 inside of the hundredths place. And then we have a 7 in the thousandths place. So that's how we would write it into expanded form. In unit form, we can write it out with its units. There's one hundred, and there's seven thousandths. We also could have written as seventeen thousandths. Here we're asked to represent three two point four seven six in word, expanded, and unit form. How would you have gone about reading this? It's equal to what? 32 and 476 thousandths. So for word form, that's what we would write. And I typed that out there. In expanded form, Our first digit that we have there is 3, and that's 3 times 10, plus 2 times 1, plus 4, our next digit, times a tenth, plus 7 times a hundredth, and then finally, plus 6 times a thousandth. So that there is our expanded form. In unit form, one way to express it would be 32 ones along with 476 thousandths. We also could have broken that apart further. Three tens. Two ones, four tenths, seven hundredths, and six thousandths. Your turn. Express these ones in words. Copy down the decimal number and then express it into words. Pause the video while you do your work. First one should be 13 and 6 hundredths. How about this next one? Did you come up with 28 thousandths? The final one, that's 708 and 206 thousandths. Check over your work. Your turn again. Express these as decimal numbers. Pause the video while you do your work. Hopefully you put them into the right place. We have 28 thousandths to start with. Next we have 9 and 518 thousandths, which we would write as a decimal that way. And with that word form one, 
Hopefully you were able to write 35 thousandths. Make sure your decimals are in the correct spot so that you have these numbers in the right place. Here we're asked to write the standard expanded in unit form for 404 thousandths. Here's standard, which is just the numbers. What would you write? Write just numbers as a decimal, 404 thousandths. In expanded form, the first four is in the what place? Write tenths. So we write four times one tenth. The other four is in the thousandths place. So we add four times one thousandths. That's the expanded form. The unit form, we would have four tenths along with how many thousandths? Right, four. That also is equal to 404 thousandths. Another way to express the uniform there. Let's take a look at one last problem here. Write this as a decimal. Looks like we're in expanded form. And we have a place value chart to help us. 5 times 1,000. OK, we'll put the 5 there. 8 times a 10. Fine. In the tens place. In the tens place, looks like we have a 7. And in the hundreds place, looks like we have a 6. In all those places without a, de a digit, we'll put 0. And we'll be sure to place our decimal point in the right spot. So that is 5,080 and 76 hundredths. So that's how we can write those out as a decimal when given to us in expanded form. So we were given different ways to write numbers. For instance, this one here was in standard form. What we say is we we'll talk about it in word form, and then so we can say what this number is, 603. and 23 hundredths. We were also given and shown ways to write this out in expanded notation. So we write out those values. So that would be 6 times 100 plus 3 times 1 plus 2 times a tenth plus 3 times a hundredth. And so we should be able to write these out in different ways to be understand how it is that place value can help us write out these numbers.